that that is true. So tomorrow, your phone, if it's set up, will start to work with a warning of an earthquake. There's not going to be another test or anything like that, but it will be available to do it. Um, but Washington is not getting things that the two other West Coast states did. Starting Tuesday, this won't be a test, but the potential for a real alert that an earthquake has happened somewhere in Washington and you should drop cover and hold, just like the kids who practice in school with shaking on its way. If we have an event, we want to be able to deliver alerts to as many as we can uh, uh, starting now. Harold Tobin is the state seismologist and head of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network at the University of Washington. The UW, along with universities in California and Oregon, have collaborated along with the U.S. Geological Survey to create ShakeAlert. Earthquake, earthquake, moderate Seen in this demonstration on a desktop, it would give you a warning that strong shaking is coming. The warning might be seconds or a minute or more, depending on how far away you are from the earthquake's start. Earthquake. But two apps available in California and Oregon won't be available here in Washington. One of those is MyShake, developed by the University of California at Berkeley and the state's Office of Emergency Services. Some concerns with the apps themselves is, uh, one, is they don't contain tsunami information. So protective actions, you know, for what to do during a tsunami. Maximilian Dixon is with Washington State Emergency Management. He says to get the benefits of an app, you have to download and maintain it, which he considers a negative. Instead, Washington is using a technology that's also used for things like Amber Alerts called Wireless Emergency Alert. The problem, it's not terribly fast when seconds count. As do we know in your previous testing how long it takes from the time you initiate the test to where I'm getting an alert on my phone? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, from the Wireless Emergency Alert tests that have been done, and several have been done uh, in California and then out here in Washington. The average is about 15 seconds. Are you frustrated? Um, I wish that we had this rolling out in Washington state today, but I also think that that's gonna change rapidly. So I'm not particularly frustrated, I'm excited. Now, one thing to add to this is that Android phones, this is an Apple phone, this won't have it, but Android phones will have something essentially what is an app basically built into the phone when you do updates. So starting tomorrow morning on King 5 News, King 5 Mornings, we will have more on this as tomorrow is going to be the rollout for this and how you can get your phone configured to take the maximum advantage that is available to you in Washington. Live in Linwood, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.